from Denver 7, this is 7 News. Have trouble keeping up your lawn through the duration of the summer? We have someone here who can help. The folks with Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado are here with four steps to help you get a sustainable yard. Stay with us. Having trouble keeping it together through the hot summer months? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it looks good at first or sometimes. And then by the end of summer, it just doesn't quite hack it. So joining us this morning is Carol Kassler with Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. I definitely have this exact same problem. I've got sparse grass, a lot of dirt. I think about just starting over with sod. Is that really the best idea? It is if your grass is really struggling, but there are ways to bring it back as well. And part of what we're here today to talk about is sustainable tips for the yard. So that one of those would be to rejuvenate your yard instead of maybe starting over if you can. How can I rejuvenate such a sparse yard like that? <laughs> um, you can start by doing aeration, which really helps with water penetration um, and watering deeply and infrequently as you can because that conserves water and it encourages deeper roots on the lawn. To get a green lawn like this, how much water does it really take? Is this a daily exercise? No, three days and, a week? Is and that we, we recommend you don't water every day. Okay. We're asking for three to four days a week. If you have a slope like this, you want to make sure that you can aerate and use a, w a wetting agent to ensure that the water will penetrate instead of running off. It's I do very have some important. slopes like that on my yard, and it seems like even when we aerate, it's hard to get anything to stick in there. Yeah, the wetting agents help with that as well. And the deeper rooted you can get the grass to grow, the better off you are. We also recommend considering on sloped areas not to use Kentucky bluegrass because it needs more water, and on a slope it can't hold it. So alternatives would help with that. What else can we do as we head towards, if you're thinking about a deck or a patio, I've also got a problem with that. Since this is a <laughs> tailor-made segment right here. If your deck is falling apart perhaps and you want to start over, is wood really the best option in Colorado? Ours kind of dried out and rotted over it's time. It's not, and we have great alternatives now. So if you're doing a deck uh, for sustainability purposes, we recommend using composite decking. There's, there's alternative decking out there that uses recycled materials and of course lasts a lot longer and doesn't have to be sealed as often. It's uh, lower maintenance decking. And patios, we're recommending that people consider using a more porous type of paving. Um, even it, it, there are some interlocking pavers on the market that allow water to penetrate as opposed to running off from hard surfaces. And these materials though, I think the attraction for some people, if you're gonna go ahead and put a new deck in is wood, you know how to work with wood. These other materials, are they more difficult to work with? No, not at all. Okay. They're, they're, very simple to work with, just like the decking is. So, sounds great. Problem. Really appreciate it, Carol Kassler. That's exactly what you need to know to keep yeah. your lawn in shape. Think about those other materials, and for more information, just log on to our website, thedenverchannel.com. Click on the big red TV button. All right, I guess I won't just scrape it off and start. Yeah. I appreciate. It.